Hello and welcome back to another IL2 career playthrough. Today we are flying with Yasta 5's brand new career, playing as Fritz Rummy, um, who's a World War One fighter pilot who served with Yasta Belki, Yasta 5, and I believe he was an observer before he joined any of the fighter squadrons. But uh, we're doing the beginning of the 1917 half of the campaign. And we also have the um, Albatross D5A here. A uh, little bit about D5A, it was an upgrade from the D3. Had a little bit better wing support um, and better structural stability. Still will damage its engine if you over torque it in a high speed dive. And also the wings will rip off after a certain amount of speed. Uh, not sure what that is exactly, but you can find out pretty damn quick, uh, especially diving after enemy spads or Newport 28s that love to do that dive. Um, so, yeah, this is his, I believe, the latest Albatross um, paint. Um, he had a few different variants that he used. I'll put a photo in right here. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's got a green tail like a grayish silvery fuselage with a black swirl paint job um but yeah uh i picked this one just because it's got the most color and flamboyance of them all this green and white checker pattern with this weird screaming black face on the side of it of course it's got the red nose and green tail with the red border of yes five um and this is just a free hunt mission I believe I've got like six fighters with me in this flight, um, and they'll all be flying custom Yasta 5 colors as well that I downloaded. Um, so we all sort of look for the part. Um, you can see the smoke up ahead, it's no man's land, um, and we'll be flying over there and engaging any targets that should pop up or any large patrols. Uh, there are a few other German air patrols out and about, um, so we've got a little bit of assistance. That's what the cockpit looks like, very, very simple. Um, I think one of my latest videos, um, I think I might have shown it off if I have a uh, very s little bit less complex than the SSWD4 that you saw in the other video. Um, I already have two more videos coming out tomorrow, which would be Monday and Tuesday. So, you'll be expecting three of these already this week, um, but this one's coming out early Sunday morning, obviously. So, you can see we're starting to turn in towards our flight path there. I just have the auto flight on. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure my squad mates are hopefully catching up. They should be. They're going to be getting into a uh, right uh, slash formation. Um, they're off to my uh, left side, to the rear, I believe. Yeah, you can see them all over there. They'll be catching up shortly. Um, that's the city, which has a fort. Um, I forgot what it's called. It starts with an L. But, uh, this is nice that we have a nice city nearby. A lot of smoke in no man's land. But, yeah, so, at this point, I'll just say leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, help support the channel they all come. There's my wingman coming up on my right. So, yeah, it's a fun little flight, and uh, I'm just going to skip ahead now quick to uh, where some of the action starts. My whole group kind of ends up scattering before the fight, so I end up diving in to the thing balls deep uh, with no wingman cover, so that was a little sketchy, but uh, yeah, I will skip ahead and uh, see y'all back here then.
Alrighty, we're back and judging by the map, this guy ahead of me is not friendly. It looks to be triplane, south of triplane. Yep, it's triplane. I've got a lot better performance in this thing, so it should not be difficult. And uh, it looks it looks like he's going after a friendly albatross. Not sure if he's part of my group or one of the other patrols, but he turns in this way, then turns back towards my friendly. And I'm just gonna reduce power and dive in. Hopefully get there before he shoots down my friendly. Hopefully my friendly can evade. Hopefully he's not dumber than a box of rocks. Um, there's a few other fighters over there. Not gonna worry about them too much right now. Uh, here comes that albatross and that uh, Sopwith turn back in. There he's an albatross. Put some more holes into him. Roll it over. Dive in. Get on his six. And now that I'm squarely plastered to his ass, there's not much this guy can really do to get me off. Fokker triplane had a little bit better performance than this, uh, which is what the Germans actually um, based it off of. Obviously, the British came up with a triplane first, but the Germans ended up kind of perfecting it, except for the left-hand turn, which the Sopov does a lot better than the Fokker. Just keep putting holes into him right in the cockpit area, and he gets knocked out of the air by Friendly. I think. Or wait, that was not a Friendly. He fell apart. Here's another Sopwith turning on him. Check six. And again, this guy's pretty much dead. Missed a few shots. Put some holes into his upper left wing. Just kind of control it. Pull up on him. Aim the guns. There's the kill confirmed. Couple into the lower wing. A few into the cockpit I believe. Not sure if I hit the pilot. But I don't know where the hell this guy even went now. I think I might have hit the pilot actually. I don't know though. I don't see him. Yeah he missing. Don't know where he went. He just disappeared after I passed up. Um, Oh, there's the kill. So I guess I did kill a pilot, and he crashed. So I got two kills now. Recharge the guns, the charging handle. And these are Spandau 7.7mm machine guns. There's a fur ball going on over here, so we're going to fly up over here. I think that's friendly flak, so hopefully we don't have to deal with that. Sometimes they can be a little bit of annoying because they're obviously shooting at the aircraft, but the bursts tend to go off behind the aircraft, and that's generally where I'm sitting, so I do have to be a little cautious of that. Check six, nothing behind me. Nice flyby shot of my aircraft, heading into the furball. Trying to figure out picking targets. Picking targets. Which target do I want? There's a few friendlies, bunch of enemies. And I think we're gonna go after this guy over here to the left. Yeah. Yep, that's a tripoint. Look over, make sure no one's coming. The guy seems to not even know that I'm up his ass. Start firing a few longer range shots. Miss high left. Those hit, fuselage. Rake a couple, left to right. And uh, I think I killed the pilot on this one too again. He's gonna go down right behind the trenches. And that is my third confirmed aerial kill. 
Here comes another. That's an albatross. Oh, and he's from Yasta too, I think. Yeah, he's from Yasta too. Or no, was he? Wait, no, that's my Yasta five. Ah, so he's leaking water. He must have taken some damage to the radiator. So he's probably heading home. It would be. Ooh, that's some close artillery shells. Those are definitely British. It's cool seeing the artillery go off by the trenches and all the craters. Furball behind me, we're gonna just kind of protect my buddy here. Make sure he doesn't get jumped. Yeah, we're leaving no man's lands area. Yeah, he's leaking heavily. That looks like he is definitely RTP. Because once the water's all gone, you're basically, your engine seizes and dies. So, smart decision on his behalf. I have not taken any damage, as I've been behind everyone most of the time. If you look at the mini-map there, you can see two aircraft kind of heading on a course towards us. Which uh, I'll be leaving this guy to go deal with. Once I get a little closer, I look over. I don't see him quite yet, but I turn towards them in a little bit. Just checking on him, making sure he's doing fine. I don't know if they just circling over there, but I bank off now to go see what these are. I'm expecting two more uh, triplanes. There's actually three aircraft spots over here, but I don't end up fighting three. I end up only fighting two, and they start heading towards me. I believe in real life, Fritz Rummy had... 27 kills and is one of I believe only five to actually win the gold cross of merit and the poorly Miri, also known as the blue max and that is not a tripoint that's a spad I don't know if it's British or French French yeah French turn the plane around very quickly come back up put some holes into them Climb high, roll over, dive in. He turns right. Spads are faster, but if they do decide to turn fight you, uh, you can generally win. There's another spad off to my right. I'm gonna try to end this guy quick. <laughs> Miss some shots. Have to slow up here a little bit, not overshoot. Keep firing into him. Those are hitting wings, fuselage, tail, everything. Fire some leading shots and kill the pilot and he's out. There comes that other spad climbing over me. Spins out, crashes just behind our lines. And I thought this guy was running home, but... And I don't know why he's not on the map, which is kind of funny if you look. Take some longer shots. Kind of shift left to right. And I've got four confirmed aerial kills now. As you can see, the spat's a lot faster than this thing in a straight line. But he makes a mistake in turning back uh, in a little bit. Yep, there's his turn, there's his mistake. I'm gonna close the gap. And hopefully, put this guy down pretty quickly. Fire like two shots at him, and quickly spins out. I don't know if he lost control or if he got killed. I don't know. I've mainly pilot sniped most of the aircraft that I've shot down. Which is a good thing, it saves ammo. Because you only do have 500 rounds per gun. So, you do have to be 
not too conservative, but obviously, like, you know, you can probably end up killing a few fighters in a match, or not a match, in a mission, um, and then end up, you know, say if you're going after Henley Pages or something like that, you can only maybe do a little bit, you know, one or two maybe, just because the aircraft is so big and the bullets are so small. I mean, you could probably fire all 1,000 rounds into a Henley Page, and if you're not hitting crew members or engines or vital components, the thing's just going to keep flying like you weren't even there, although it's going to be looking like a piece of Swiss cheese or a flying colander. Now we're just uh, heading back to base because I didn't, I don't have bullet counters on like some of the aircraft, like the Fokker D7s, um, things like that. Uh, so I'm on my way back home. Got a nice photo of apparently my wife or girlfriend or something. I don't read German, so there's a compass. Got the magneto uh, engine switch. So yeah, it's just a uneventful flight home. So. Yep. I'm just going to quickly skip ahead again. Because there's not much talking I can really do when all we're doing is flying in a straight line. So uh, I'll see you when I, I start getting ready to land. See you there. Alrighty, we're back, closer to our airfield over that city again, and there's a friendly aircraft heading towards me, so I'm going to see who that is. It is obviously an albatross. Oh, and that's my buddy from earlier. Still leaking water. That's Paul Bomber's aircraft. That's the skin. Pilot's name is not Paul Bomber, but they're just the computer generated names. Really nice uh, red with the Idlevice flower, green tail, red nose, obviously. Do a roll, show off. And our, our field should be right over there. Yep. Alrighty, let's get ready to land. I'll start pulling power. Just basically just glide this thing until it hits the ground. Got our hangers, barracks. Kind of a strip that's all dirt now because of all the aircraft running over it. Might have been another aircraft that just landed shortly. Turn out a little bit. Turn in. And now we basically just glide in. There's the AA emplacements. Yeah, it looks like there's someone on the airfield. Wind socks dead, so there's not much wind. Oop, that was a little quick. Not sure if he's part of Yasta 5 or if he's just a rando. Alrighty. Trying to turn. Make sure not to bend the wing, snap that in half. But yeah, successful landing. Shut down the power. So yeah, it was my first flight as Fritz Romy. Uh, yes to five, Albatross D5, 1917. Just pat or just behind the front lines. So overall successful mission, in my opinion. I don't know why the game said it was a mission failure, but 
I mean, most of the free flights for the World War II missions basically are you engage the enemy, it's basically a successful mission, shoot down as many of them can before you either getting killed running out of ammo or heading back to base. But the results were a mission failed, but I did get five kills, so it makes me an ace. Just finish this. Let's uh, see the results of the flight now. Ooh, got the second class Iron Cross. That's nice. Oof, lost two people. Julian Schultz and Stefan Martin both killed in action, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's my first flight. See you in the next one. This has been the Red Baron's YT. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like subscribe, and have a good rest of your day. I'm out.